Sea squirts are filter-feeding marine invertebrates that are part of a group of organisms called tunicates. Sea squirts can be found in ocean waters all around the world. They typically live in shallow water in shaded areas, fastened to things like rocks, seaweed, dead coral, docks, or the bottoms of boats. Some are very colorful. Deep sea species tend to live in sand or mud. When touched, sea squirts contract and squirt water out of their siphons. Sea squirts have sac-like bodies. They secrete a protective outer test called a tunic that is formed of scattered living cells and non-cellular material containing large amounts of cellulose. Sea squirts rely on water currents for food and nutrients. Most feed on small particles of phytoplankton, organic debris, and bacteria. There are a few carnivorous sea squirts that live in the deep ocean. The oral siphon is enlarged to form a mouth that can capture large prey. Sea squirts can be solitary or colonial. In solitary species, the tunic functions like an external skeleton. The body has two siphons. The oral siphon takes in nutrient-rich water and the atrial siphon excretes the waste. In colonial species, the tunic typically forms a common mat of supporting tissue. Sometimes colonial species share a common opening where waste is discharged. Under a sea squirt's tunic, a muscular body wall encloses a large gill sac called the pharynx. Most of the space inside a sea squirt is taken up by the huge pharynx. The heart, blood vessels, nerves, reproductive organs, and digestive system surround the pharynx. The heart is unusual in that it reverses every 50 beats or so, changing the direction of blood flow throughout the body. The pharynx contains numerous gill slits lined with beating hairs called cilia that create a water current. Water enters through the oral siphon and pours into the pharynx where oxygen and food are extracted. It then passes through the gill slits and eventually exits through the atrial siphon. Sheet-like webs of mucus lining the pharynx catch fine food particles that are periodically rolled into cords and swallowed. Digestion takes place in the stomach and intestine. Wastes are discharged with the outflowing water. Colonial sea squirts are composed of numerous individuals called zooids. Groups of zooids may be joined at the base to form groups resembling bouquets of flowers or they may be deeply embedded in common tissue. They often resemble encrusting sponges. Sea squirts come in a variety of sizes. Solitary species range from an eighth of an inch to about five inches across. Some cold water species grow larger. Each zooid of a colonial sea squirt may be less than one twentieth of an inch to one inch long. Entire colonies may only be a fraction of an inch to over three feet across. Colonial sea squirts are typically formed as a result of asexual budding, meaning that adults can split to produce new zooids. They also reproduce sexually via broadcast spawning or egg brooding. Most sea squirts are hermaphrodites, but eggs are still usually fertilized by other individuals. Broadcast spawners release large amounts of eggs and sperm into the sea where fertilization takes place. Some species release sperm, but they do not release their eggs. Instead, they brood a smaller number of comparatively larger eggs internally until the developing embryos hatch and swim out of the animal. Most sea squirts have a tadpole larva stage. The larvae possess a notochord which they use to swim and find a suitable location to settle and mature into an adult. Ideal settlement areas have particle-rich waters. Once a suitable location is found, the larva attaches with a suction-like structure and metamorphosis begins. The notochord shrinks and gets absorbed into the body. The tunic forms as the transformation occurs. Adults are sessile, meaning that they remain attached to a hard substrate. Some live for many years. 
Although solitary species are not connected to each other, they may still occur in dense aggregations as a result of larval settlement. In some Mediterranean, Asian, and South American countries, sea squirts are consumed. Since sea squirts are often found on the underside of boats, some have become invasive species after being transported from their native range. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.